Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I was actually filming a foundation review today and I have been thinking for a while now to do this video, especially with all the talk about shade range and everything that's going on at the moment. I just felt like I wanted to do this video just to share some of what's happened in my life and how that's made me like the person I am today. And if it can help one of you guys, then that would just mean the world to me. So I just wanted to do this video because I want to do more story time videos, but just kind of, I don't know, share my experiences and show you guys what I learned from them, you know? You guys know that one topic that I'm very passionate about is talking about like shade range. I just love to talk about just skin colour, culture, origins. I just like to talk about that. And religion, religion sometimes. Religion can be a bit of a touchy one for me because I would say I'm religious but then I'm not at the same time. I do believe in God but it's just... It's just really complicated subject, but anyways, off topic. Um, today I want to talk about brown skin. Actually, brown skin and being Indian. One thing I do want to mention is that I've seen all these people do videos about the Tarte Shape Tape Sharp Turtle. I've seen all these people do videos on the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation and kind of using it as like a way to make that themselves look a bit better. I don't know, like them using people are using the situation to make themselves look be uh, better when really they don't really give a shit about people who can't find their foundation in the stores. But some people don't really get that people have to live this every day, like they go through e they go through it every day, and that's their everyday life. But anyways, I'm going a bit off topic. But yeah, this whole talk about shade range has really got me thinking and thinking about what like my past and like the stuff that I realized and came across in the beauty industry like when I would go in there would rarely be my colors let alone for deeper dark skin tones which is awful like it's just the fact that it's still going on today like I just you know, my blood is boiling you know makeup revolution though I do want to give them a big shout out because they are doing so good they are doing so good like honestly but anyways I feel like I'm going so topic topic but today I wanted to talk about how like I felt being a brown Indian in the past as in brown like not really fair I'm not dark dark I'm not fair fair I'm just in between somewhere um, but I was relatively darker than the people around me who were Asian that always helped the odd one out like oh. especially when I was in India weirdly enough I just don't even know where to start like but anyways, the whole topic of this is basically I wanted to share with you guys that when I was little, like when I was younger, I was so ashamed to be Indian. Like I was so ashamed. I was so ashamed to be brown. I was so ashamed to be Indian. I didn't want anyone to know about my origins. People used to make so much fun about me and like my my race, my roots and my hair, like my my skin colour. And it just got to the point where I was just so embarrassed of where I came from. Like when people was like uh, or like she, the Indian, I'd be like, no, um, but yeah, I, my camera just cut, but I was saying that when people used to say, oh, like, she's an Indian, or say the P word, I don't like to say the P word, to be honest, oh, I don't even want to write down, but it's just a look, kind of, I think it's racist, like, I think it's racist when I was called that, um, but when people would be like, oh, that P word, like, I would be like, no, I'm not Indian, I'm Mauritian, like, I would completely ignore my Indian roots, because obviously, my dad is half Indian, fully Indian, and my mum is fully Mauritian, but obviously Mauritians are kind of, like, from Indian descent, but we are, our independent country, I, also, I don't like it when people tell me Mauritians aren't really, like, Mauritians, they are, like, Indian, they don't have their own, like, country, we are an independent country, and we are Mauritians, okay? Like, hair was one big issue with me when I was younger, like, hairy legs i had so such hairy legs that p i used to dread p so much but then i wasn't allowed to shave my legs so it was kind of like what do i do people would tell me to like like cut my hair because i i always had long hair my hair was so precious to my mom i actually have a story time video that i have to film when i cut my video i had enough like i was so sick of people telling me like you need to cut it like so long why is it so long like i actually cut it behind my mom's back but that's a different story um but my, my my hair, like in, I would say in an Indian family, like your hair is everything. Your hair is your beauty, your everything. And I had hair all the way past my butt almost. And I hated it so much. I was already in a hot country and it was just so heavy. We would go swimming all the time and then people would just make commentary about it. And I remember my mum let me snip it a little bit, like just the ends. And I got went to school 
and I was all, to all the people that were judging me, I was like, look, I cut my hair, and they'd be like, you barely cut any. Like, it was always trying, I was always trying to please others, like, why? Why was I trying to please others? If hair wasn't an issue, then it was my skin colour, like, my brown skin. And where I suffered from this the most was in India, um, because they have a strong belief that fairer skin Indians are better or more intelligent or cleaner even for some reason and I used to take a Bharatanatyam classes that dance you know you know you where you like crouch down and you you go like you know <laughs> I can't remember it anymore but me and my sister used to take classes my mom signed us up and we were pretty good at it you know if I say so myself it's so hard I feel like if I kept doing it I would have a big butt by now because it really works out your legs there was this really really young girl like that was like nine years old she was very fair, she was a very fair Indian. I think she was from a family that had pretty, a lot of money, probably like a wealthy family. But she was nine and I was around 12 and I remember one day we were sitting down, like taking a break from our class and she was just like, do you not wash your skin? Like so politely though, she was not even mean. It's just her mentality, like she said it so politely and I felt, I thought it was like me, like the issue. But um, she would be like, do you not wash, do you not take a shower? And I was like, yeah, I do. I do wash my skin often. And she was like, how often? Every day? Twice a day? And I'd be like, I wash myself every day. And then I will always remember this conversation I had with this little girl. And she was like, what soap do you use? And I don't know what soap I said, but then she was talking about some solid soap. I don't even know. She was like, you need to get this soap. But she was just like, um, you need to like, scrub your skin more often to get a bit lighter because my I was just too dark for in her opinion like it looked ugly to her basically and because I was in India I looked really dark I was very dark all these comments about people asking me how I lighten my skin because I did the reacting to my old photos video and so many people asked me how I lighten my skin I didn't lighten my skin at all I was in a very hot country when the sun was exposed on my skin 24-7 so obviously I'm going to be darker and I'm coming to the UK where there's barely any sun ever obviously I'm going to be a bit lighter than usual so I'm just over these comments of how did you lighten your skin give me some tips I want to buy some products like this is I, want to, I don't want to swear I feel pretty sad for these girls that want to look lighter because they don't embrace themselves the way they are. They've been taught that lighter skin is better either by their family or by society. I just wanted to talk about these um, experiences I had because these are the experiences that led to me thinking that I am so worthless like being a brown Indian. Like I used to hate so much and I, whenever some people found out I went to India or that my family was Indian in some type of way, I used to, like my heart would drop. Because I did not want anyone to know. And now I couldn't be prouder to be Indian Mauritian, you know? Like, I'm proud of my Indian roots, I'm proud of my Mauritian roots. I feel, like, kind of unique in a way, because I have this mixture of origins. I feel like it's beautiful, um, it's unique, and <clears throat> the fact that these people made me feel that this way, like, I just feel bad for them. Because, I don't know, there's something wrong in their minds to make another person feel like that. In France as well, when I was in France, the P word was thrown around all the time. Are you Indian? I'd be like, no, I'm Mauritian. But yeah, I feel really, really sorry for these people and I just wanted to do this video just in case one of you guys feel ashamed of your roots or origins because I don't know, depending where what area you're in or where you are, sometimes people can make you feel that way, especially being Indian. Where I've grown up through the years, being Indian was always an embarrassment. To, like the smell, like the Indian smell, curry smell, like I don't know why like people do this because even at work recently people are so racist against Indian people literally this girl that I worked with was like I, I'm not racist, I don't want to be mean or anything but Indian people are so annoying she literally said that in front of my face I just I just want to just talk to you guys who may feel like this and I want to tell you guys to literally just if you can just zap it out because when you kind of grow up because this was all when I was a bit younger I felt like the world was ending because I was Indian or something but when you grow up you kind of like mature a bit and you kind of understand and get to learn more about yourself and where you come from and your roots and stuff and you feel a bit you you kind of admire it a bit more and start to like yourself a bit more 
regardless of what all these people are saying if there is one of you out there that do feel like this like you feel embarrassed to be a brown darker skin or like a brown skin indian even if i know there's a lot of you in india like this mentality of brown is brown skin or darker skin is ugly or worthless i want to be here to tell you that it's not like honestly it every skin tone every shade every race every religion let me get a little praise up in here everything like everything i don't even care if you're green honestly every race every skin color is beautiful like no matter where you're from what your origins are what your roots are what your culture is like you are this and i think you should embrace it um if you are darker skin and you have people telling you like you're ugly because you, you're not fair enough or your aunties are telling you, you you need to like use this lemon scrub to lighten up to find yourself a man ignore it just be like okay auntie okay and just do your own thing like she's not going to be watching you just ignore them and once you start to grow older you'll see that it becomes so much easier <sighs> maybe it might not but if if this video can help you some type of way inside of you like to feel a bit better and to kind of like zone out all these people that are saying all this crap about being Indian or being brown this video will be worthwhile you know so yeah I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys that you are beautiful the way you are even though that can sound corny but it's true like it's true you guys don't even know when I look back and the fact that I felt this way, I feel it makes me really sad. It really does make me sad because I used to, I asked my sister as well and I was like, did you get picked on being brown Indian? She was like, yeah. And we never talked about it until the other day. I don't know if it's because where we were living or the area we were living in or the places, the people that we were surrounded by. I mean, we don't live in an, an easy area. <laughs> <laughs> the area we live in and that we grew, grew up in was a really crappy area to be honest it can get to you I just want to say it can get to you but don't think it's the end don't think you're like worthless don't think you're ugly like I know it can be easy to think like that but I'm here to tell you that it will get better and you'll feel so much better the more you learn about yourself and your culture and your origins and your roots and your religion and everything the better you'll feel the more you'll know and the more you admire it and the more you'll love yourself you know so i think that's all i have to say if you guys want to see more story time videos this is more this wasn't really a story time video but a little message to all my brown indian people we're always talking about paler shades and deeper darker shades but we never really do talk about the people in between the medium shades the tan shades the brown shades just share this positive positive message with you guys and i really do hope it touches one of you and sometimes i'll just be like why why would you why did these people make me feel this way like do you have anything better going on in your lives but to be honest i have i used to get picked on so much primary was the worst and then when i was in india was kind of like my skin color and then france was about being indian um primary was the worst but i had this defense mechanism of like when people i was so sick of people being mean to me I started to become mean to people to like it was like kind of like a defense thing like I just don't want to give you the chance to be mean to me so I'll be mean to people but obviously like I've learned from my mistakes I've learned from all these experiences and I'm the person I am today you know I'm not perfect but I've learned definitely a lot of things from all these experiences that I had to go through it helps to, for some of you to see a bit clearer that all this stuff about lightening your skin and all that is crap wool crap okay if you are watching this video and you have been raised in a family where you're you have been taught to think that brown skin is ugly or disgusting or whatever then try to open your mind and take this video into account and think about like why why would you think that way because it's really sad that that little girl that i had classes with was brought up to think that way even though she was just nine and she had the audacity to tell someone to scrub their skin harder. Um, try to be open-minded, try to be more accepting of people, and yeah, I just wanted to do this video for you guys, and for myself as well. Thank you so much for watching this video, please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful in any way, in shape or form. I will try to do more story times, but let me know if you do want that. 
the hair cutting video would be an interesting one because that was very unique the way I did it. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really appreciate it. All the love that you sent my way. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time.